So, you want to make a marbled material? Well, go into your bank account and withdraw about $400. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again, taking a look at a marble uh, material here in Blender 2.82 EV. And I don't, do, do, does marble counters, do marble counters cost $400? I don't know. I know they're expensive, right? I don't know how much money. Anyway, uh, we're going to get started. It's super easy. We're going to make a nice one today. Um, I'm excited. The first thing we got here is we got a principal BSDF shader with the specular all the way up and the specular tint all the way up, uh, the roughness all the way down. Uh, just on a stark white color, just just fully white. Ooh, that was, oh, that looks good. Look at that. I'm in material mode right now, by the way. Um, but yeah, so we're going to put that all the way white. Uh, shift A, and we're going to search for a noise texture, and that noise texture is going to be plugged straight from the color into the displacement uh, of the marble texture. Now we're going to change the scale to, I believe, 20, and the detail all the way up to 16, and then just distortion. The distortion is the very important part, because right now this looks nothing like marble, but 1.3 is our friend, and that's going to help us out just a little bit. Um, now we're going to hit uh, Shift A, and we're going to add a color ramp we're gonna search for that and then we're just gonna hook that color ramp the color into the scale right there the scale didn't really matter um, so yeah now we got that nice little stroked brush kind of look which looks really good next up next up we're gonna move on to something else I'm gonna grab our noise texture hit shift D duplicate that and plug the color into the base uh, color <clears throat> and that's gonna give us a nice little on to wait for it wait wait Oh, the, the, oh, the rendering. Okay, there we go. So it's going to give us a nice uh, a nice little, you can see, texture here. But I don't want this to be rainbow colored. So we can fix that by grabbing our color ramp, hitting Shift D, and then just putting that right in between the principal BSDF and the noise shader. So that'll go right about compiling shaders, compiling shaders, and we're good to go. There we go. So that's what it does pretty much is it gives it this nice little thing here. But these black lines are way too dark. So we're going to just pull that down just a wee bit. And we can actually go ahead and just uh, lighten that color. Maybe give it a little tiny bit of a tint if you want. You can make it a little tinted blue, tinted a little uh, purplish, a little brownish. I do believe marble has, has a very slight brown tint to it like so like that. So we're going to do that just very slightly, um, which looks really good. I like it. Um, and that is, uh, that's pretty much it for our uh, marble texture there. It's very, very, very simple. I like it quite a bit. Um, now, you can, of course, modify this. If you want to get rid of the distortion, you can do that because we can have it on 0.3 or we can have it on uh, uh, have it on 0. Looks good either way. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can drag this up and down to get more or less of that uh, harder edge. But marble marble's pretty smooth, so I'll go, let's go with something like that, 0.4 uh, even. Looking good. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's marble tutorial. Uh, yeah, I love doing these material tutorials. Super fun, super easy, super quick to bang on out here. So hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.